What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Poor Man Mods. Today is a pretty big day because we're going to be installing a kind of put together big brake kit for my Mark III Supra. Now, I can't take full credit for this. Edwin Ellis, who did a lot of research and spent a lot of his time trying to figure out a way for this to work, he figured out that a, I believe it's a 2001 to 2004, I'll put the exact year range up on the screen, but this is off a 2001 Mercedes S500. It is a four piston Brembo brake caliber. You can pick up two of these for around $100 online used obviously and 350z i think it's either like the touring or a spec edition or something they're 12.8 inches it's not the standard 350z those are smaller these are the bigger 350z rotors they're 12.8 inches so we're going to be putting 12.8 inch rotors four piston brembos on the super here and the factory brakes are single piston 11 and a half inch rotors so this is quite a substantial upgrade but I will take credit for, I found out that um, at least for the brake hoppers I got, the Mercedes brake hoses were different. They were the bubble flare instead of inverted flare, which I don't think would have sealed properly. But if you remember on Tony's AE86 Resto Mod series, we upgraded his brakes and he actually gave me his old braided hoses. These are stainless steel braided brake lines off of a 1986 Toyota Corolla GTS and I have them on I have everything installed on that side and they work they work just fine so for this upgrade it's going to be for me 1986 Corolla GTS brake hoses 2001 Mercedes S500 brake calipers and 350z rotors now another bolt-on upgrade for this car is Mustang Cobra brakes now, if it, it makes sense to me that if Cobra brakes directly bolt on to this car and these Mercedes brakes bolt on to this car, then that means these Mercedes brakes should also bolt on to other vehicles where the Cobra brake, where the Cobra brake upgrade applies. So if you have a Mustang or like a Ford Ranger and you have to, and you can get that bracket to put Cobra brakes on your car, you could potentially do this Mercedes brake upgrade for cheaper. This whole upgrade is costing me under $300. It was $100 for the calipers, I think $120 for the rotors, and the pads were $40. And I got these brake hoses for free from Tony, but I think you can get them for maybe $50 or $60 because you only need two. So this is $300 or less, big brake kit for the front. So this is pretty awesome, pretty badass, and this should work for some Fords and other cars where Cobra brakes work. So it's gonna be a hell of a lot different. Only a little bit of grinding is required to make it fit, but I will show you how to do it. So let's get started. Okay, now the first step is obviously take the wheel off so you can get to the brakes. But now we're gonna take off the factory brake caliper and take these clips off so we can easily rest the brake caliper on the floor. We're not gonna disconnect the brake line yet because we don't want it to be leaking brake fluid the entire time we're working. We want it to be open for a short amount of time as possible, so we're gonna leave it on the floor with it connected up here still. But as soon as we're ready to swap over the brakes, then we'll disconnect it. Now we can take off the wheel spacer, which some of you probably don't agree with, and then the rotor. So now we can grab our big rotor and put it on. But if you'll notice, it hits this dust shield. So what we are going to do, some people will just trim it around here so it doesn't fit, but I'm going to cut it the whole way off, and it's not easy to get off with the bolts. 
So I'm just gonna cut it with some shears and it's pretty easy, so I'm gonna do that. And using shears instead of an angle grinder or a cutoff wheel really saves your ears. This is so much quieter and I'm poor and I don't have ear protection. And this might actually be faster too. Definitely faster than a cutoff wheel. Now we can put our lovely rotor on. And we're gonna put a wheel spacer and a lug nut on. And a lug nut on to hold it in place while we work. Now it's not gonna wobble on us. It's all good. Now we're gonna put on the Brembo and see how it fits. Now you are gonna need new bolts to put this caliper on. This is the factory super bolt and this is the Brembo bolt. This I believe is a 12 by one and a quarter and the Mercedes one is 12 by 1.5 so it's not the same bolt. You are gonna need different bolt threads. Looks super pretty, doesn't it? Especially that PMM logo. Well, we hit a problem. Now the rotor does not turn. I will show you why. That part of the caliper right there, and the same part down on the bottom, stick out too far and hits the rotor. Now what I'm going to do to solve this, I did it on the other side, is grind down this metal here and here pretty substantially but also when this is grinded down it looks like the caliper is not completely center. I'm going to put two washers between the caliper and the knuckle to bring the caliper this way so it's a little more center and you don't need to grind as much. So I'm going to get to grinding, show you what I did and then I'll install the washers and this thing should bolt up nicely. So these two pieces of metal right here basically need to be grinded down flush with this line. So I'm going to take a lot of material off right here and right here and then we'll install the two washers and it should fit on nicely. It's really unsafe but the only way I can really get in there is by turning this grinder upside down. Um, it's kind of hard to get in there like that. But turning it upside down like that works pretty well for me. I am at least wearing safety glasses. Okay, now you can see this is practically flush right here. Um, I'm going to go and see if this will work on the car. It should. When you go and grind this, just do a little bit at a time and keep test fitting it with two washers because um, you don't want to take too much off, obviously, and you don't want to grind too much because grinding sucks. So take a little bit off and keep test fitting it, and we're going to go throw this on the car. The two washers that I'm going to be using are going to go here. So the knuckle will be here, two washers here, and the caliper. So it's going to push the caliper away from the knuckle to make it more centered and makes it so the rotor does not hit here. If we did not have those two washers, then it would hit back here also and it would cause more issues. So the two washers really help. Beautiful. It's bolted on and it spins. Here's a comparison of the pads. Here's factory and here's the Mercedes. A lot more surface area on the Mercedes pad. For some reason, this caliper needed three washers on each bolt instead of two. Um, the other side only needed two to be centered, but with two washers on each bolt, this pad would not fit in here. The rotor was too close to here, so I had to put a third washer on to push it more this way, so now it's centered. And I can get both pads in, and you can try to get the brake clips on. And these can only go in one way. This side is fatter, this is a skinnier side. Skinny holes on this side, fat side is in the back.
And now the pins kind of have a clip on the back, so we need to hammer them in. The way I'm gonna hammer them in is put this three inch extension on the pin, and then hammer the extension. And I can't really show you this on camera, but if you're gonna do this, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. All right, so the caliper's bolted up, got the pads in. I think it's time that we reinstall the brake hose, take the old one off, hook the new one on, and then bleed it. All right, we got our new R86 line installed, and it's gonna run up. and install right there, just like the factory one. All that needs done now is to bleed the brakes, but I think I've shown you plenty of brake videos where I've bled the brakes, so I think you guys know how to bleed brakes at this point, so I'm not gonna show you that. So this is completely done. Um, one other thing is I don't think these fit on the factory wheels for the Supra. I'm rocking 17 inch dubs right now. So they fit, but the factory 16s, I don't think they fit. Um, so yeah, probably gonna need bigger wheels. So just to review, these are 12.8 inch 350Z rotors. It's like the A-spec or the Touring or Whatever edition, I'm sorry I do not remember, but there's two sets of rotors for the 350Z. These are the bigger ones, 12.8s, and these are 2001 Mercedes S500 brake calipers. And I have 1986 Toyota Corolla brake lines. So it was pretty simple. All that you need to do is a little bit of grinding and some washers to space it out. Um, and that's it, it's really a kind of bolt-on kit with slight modification. Um, this can work on Mark III Supras. It can work on probably any vehicle that Cobra brakes work on. So there might be a lot of cars out there that this will work on. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you like them. I hope you like my little PMM stickers on there because, you know, I'm cool like that, I guess. It'll probably burn off though, because fuck my ass. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Poor Man Mods. Hope you learned something. Hope you go out and do this. And Edwin Ellis, thanks for figuring this out. Um, you deserve a lot of credit for this. You helped out the community a lot. So on that note, I will see you guys next time.